Today's adventure brings me to the Orlando International Airport. There is the control tower right there. And I have just been dropped off. And I am heading to Chicago as the recording of this Tuesday, April 12th, 2022. Going to the Windy City where it's gonna be considerably cooler than it is here. I'll be there for about a week. Welcome everyone. Adam and the Woo here. Pretty exciting trip. Seven days in Chicago. Fly out today on a Tuesday. Arrive back here next Tuesday, the 19th. Today's the 12th as a recording of this. United Airlines, I will be sitting at a window seat about halfway through the plane, close to the wing. Don't quote me on that. I'm inviting you to join me for this flight trip experience. Leaving from Orlando, arriving to O'Hare. This is Orlando International, MCO, to you and I, to O'Hare. Renting a car once I'm in O'Hare and then seeing how the next series of days goes. I have some plans. This is a little bit of a hint. It's kind of a deep cut hint, but it's still a hint. The other days, I have no plans. So I gotta figure that when I get there. Join me. Shall you? And I'm gonna need to don one of these again inside the airport and on the flight also, heading to ticketing and check-in. Okay, I gotta put this on as I'm heading in. And it appears as if my flight is not delayed. There are three or four, well, there's two up there that say delayed. In fact, there are one, two, three, four, five different flights, American and United. I am on United. The one at 1224 is delayed. I am on the 235 departure. That is not delayed. It states on time. That's a good thing. It's a very good thing. I do not have TSA pre-check, so I have to go over into this little category over here. Gates 1 through 59. I am looking for gate 47. I've never noticed the roof in here, too. Pretty interesting looking architecture of the roof. This might take a little while, but not too bad. I've seen it worse. I am classified as a standard screening. Hello. Oh yeah, look at all those. That's like a bigger board of all the departures and arrivals. And the gates one through 59 section has some sea life up there. Look at that. It's like some sea life swimming around up there in a digital format. I feel like I'm in a queue line for a theme park or like in a maze. There are people that are kind of cutting through, which makes sense because there's a lot of unused areas right here. Yeah, I feel like I'm about to get on space. Past this point only, ticketed passengers only. I must have my photo ID and boarding pass. Don't embarrass me. I raised you better than to act. Okay, they're saying that if someone's mother was here, that you shouldn't, and don't make a scene. TSA standard screening. Okay, I think I'm gonna go through number six here, which is empty all beverages before screening. I'm gonna go through that little metal detector. To say this is my favorite part of the process, I would be fibbing, I would be lying completely. That didn't take too long. Now, it is interesting to me though, sometimes they make you take your shoes off, sometimes they make you take your electronics out of the bag, which I did, I take my laptop and then the keyboard, the portable keyboard that plugs into my laptop because my laptop's not really doing so well, so I had to get a portable keyboard that attaches to it. I put that in a separate tray. And then sometimes they take you take the electronics out, sometimes they, sometimes they don't, but went through it pretty quick. And now you don't even have to scan your boarding pass. You just, all you do is just scan your ID. I just showed my driver's license and they knew which, which flight I was going to. And according to this, flight 1500 to 35 departure still on top. And here is a general layout of the land. I'm looking for gate 47 up here. There's a monorail on this side, and then there's a monorail on this side. Can I catch this door? The doors are now opening. Please exit to gates 30 through 59. Please watch your step. All right, 30 through 59. I'm in the, in the 40s somewhere. And it does show that these are required. I'm just curious, you think anyone follows the three feet anymore? Ah, uh, that's, if I was a betting man, I would probably say no. However, these are required in the airport still. So. There's a United plane right out there. 
either loading or unloading. Probably loading, it looks like they're putting the luggage on. That could be mine. I have to reconfirm which gate mine is, but it could be mine. Possibility. And here's a good angle with the control tower off there in the distance. This also is not the flight I'm on. This is not the plane I'm on. And you got the other airline, Spirit, off behind the United gates as well. And all the park luggage carts down here. I always do just carry on. I can't even tell you the last time I had luggage that went on one of these carts and onto the plane. I usually just put one above my head. I travel very light. And then my backpack underneath underneath my seat. Now, thankfully, I didn't forget my headphones or any accessories, but if you forget like a phone charger or some headphones, they pretty much got everything you need right here in this vending machine. You even have some pure base wireless headphones up there. Sound and mobility accessories. These are active noise reducing headphones. I wonder how well those work. I still use the corded ones. I don't even, I don't even go with the, the Bluetooth. Yeah, I keep it. I'm, I'm, I'm ancient in my thoughts on just using something until it just doesn't work anymore. I guess maybe one of the headphones I have break, I'll finally go with ones that are cord, cordless style. But this is kind of neat. I have all these. I'm just basically wasting time until it's time to board. All right. I'm gonna keep wandering down to my gate, gate 47, which would be between 42 and 49, obviously. Straight ahead at the end. Oh, it looks like I'm going to be able to document this in real time. Gate 47, plane approaching. This is a long one. And I did confirm I have a window seat. I got an email uh, when I went on the get my boarding pass. I said if they changed seats, I had to make sure I was still positive I had a window seat. I do. I think I'm a 19A. I'm going to get this get this turning or is this well I could be incorrect maybe it's not gonna do a sharp turn no it is gonna do a sharp turn look at this gentleman down here I'm gonna check my seat while showing this yeah 19a when I went up to the desk the lady that helped me said 19 alpha yep you have a window seat I like this kind of utilizing this as like a little step stool to get up higher so the pilot can see waving the batons. Tire just went past C, now past B. Will it make it all the way to A? Is A the pinnacle? Nope, B is the stopping point. Like a glove. Whenever I'm doing this, people are sitting really close to me listening. I'm just kind of talking very lightly and kind of whispering. The Canon G7X Mark II that I'm using picks up audio really well. But they're probably wondering, why is this guy talking to his camera like this in a fashion? My head is pressed right up against the window. And this is going to almost act like a little accordion and pull up to let those out. And waiting very patiently over here are the, the luggage cars. And I know I'm not the only one fascinated by this whole process. So what's happening as an employee, an airline employee, is controlling this mechanism over here to the right. In fact, you could see through the window there, steering it. Right up to the door. And the food is arriving. Flying Food Group is supplying the meal today, or the snacks. Snacks. The fuel's over there, and then the luggage will come soon after. I'm 
glad I was standing nearby when this arrived. That was pretty cool. It is also a 767-300, for those wondering. number 47 but the volume is so low right up there's the speaker even before the other announcement that's being set on the other side of the the other gate behind me cannot understand anything so I don't know when they're gonna I think I'm boarding party three so, we're boarding group number three through the green lane United group right, number three, we kindly time. ask you to please be seated into your group the number The plane's supposed to call. take off in two minutes. Don't worry, we're not leaving. I don't think we're it's going to take off on time, but aircraft. I'm pretty we thankful to make sure that it's, is not, it's not postponed also, too, too dramatically. And it'll be nice because the flight's only going to be, well, once it, once it gets airborne, it's only going to be three hours. I'm so used to flying coast to coast where it's like four and a half, or if you're going, you know, from east to west, it's four and a half from Orlando to L.A. And from LA to Orlando, usually it's five and a half because of the jet stream. This is only going to be like a three hour flight. Not too bad. Hello. Hey. Where are we sitting today? I'm in 19A. 19A, right this way? Thank you. Pilots making an announcement. Just about done boarding. Two hour and 27 minute flight, he's saying. Got a nice little window seat. This is a big plane. And this is pretty interesting. Zoom, zoom in down the where I, we're ta taxiing out before takeoff. I'm noticing I can see downtown Orlando from here. And uh, once we are in the air, I'll give you more details about today's flight. And again, welcome aboard. Way over there.
are some pretty salty pretzels. I like salty pretzels.
Chicago have almost arrived, the Windy City. Coming in from this angle, if I would have sat on the other wing, I would have been able to probably see downtown. We'll look at that traffic. This wing is huge. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Chicago, where the local time is approximately 4:39. Please stay. 4:39 arrival. Chicago time. That's the Chicago way. Don't forget to check your seat back pockets and areas around your seat. Make sure you do have all your personal belongings, and please be careful when you're opening up those overhead bins. On behalf of United, our entire team, our Star Alliance partners, we'd like to thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We do hope you had an enjoyable flight. We look forward to seeing you soon on another United flight. Good evening. documentation of parking. flight next Tuesday the 19th. Oh yeah. I made it. Look at this. Oh yes. Some appropriate t-shirts and a hat. Here's a pretty neat little nut stand called Nuts on Clark. If I was in the mood for some right now, I'd purchase some right here. I have to find out where the rental cars are. Boy, do that one me going down this. That's classified as ground transport, I would guess. Check out the reflection on the ground. And that's what's up on the roof line. Oh, this is a very beautiful little tunnel through here. Now I can walk twice as fast because I'm walking on this. 
get to my destination to the rental car area twice as quick. Door 16 is now closing. The double doors. That's my reflection. Do not sit on the console. It's prohibited. That big windshield wiper there on the back. downtown over there. There's the skyline. Aha! I like that. for the next week. This will be my rental car. And that's gonna do it for today. A travel day, if you will. Leaving Celebration, getting to the Orlando airport, the flight to Chicago, and getting the rental car. It's good to be here, it's supposed to get really cold. It's not too cold right now, but I did bring a jacket and pants, a set of shorts. I'll see you in the next video, the vlog. Thanks for watching. It's over.